Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel students homeopathy and let's learn together. As you all know we have started a new series of learning that is pick the rubric from patient's language in which we are discussing the original versions or languages of patients as exactly narrated by them in our clinic or OPD. Also apart from converting these narrations to appropriate rubrics we are discussing their analysis or interpretation. In part 1 of this series we have discussed 4 of such versions and in this part we will discuss 5 more patient versions or narrations and their interpretations. So if you have not yet subscribed to our channel students homeopathy please subscribe now and also click on the bell icon to get notified for any new video of students homeopathy. So now coming to patients version 5. Some elderly people while narrating their life history or during normal conversation complain that their children are not obeying them. On inquiry, we can find that their children are mature or old enough to manage their own life. Let's analyze the situation. If someone junior or younger than us does not listen to our advice or good suggestions, then obviously we will not feel good. But it doesn't mean that we will blame them in front of others for this thing. Now, if for the same reason someone reaches to the extent of complaining in front of others, even not sparing his own children, what does this indicate? It indicates a strong reaction of the patient, which ultimately shows a strong expectation of obedience. So here we can pick the rubric dictatorial dominating. So the corresponding rubric is dictatorial dominating. But before finalizing this, try to confirm it from other incidents of their life. Often these people are very dominant and they want that their decision should be obeyed at home. Coming next, patients version 6. Some people while narrating their life history says, if I am right and someone else opposes my view, I don't let him go easily. He must prove it, otherwise should accept his mistake. Let's analyze. Some people always think that they are right and cannot tolerate someone opposing them. In this case, we can say that this patient is disposed to get aggravated when his views are contradicted. So here the corresponding rubric is mind, contradictions, aggravation. Next, patient's version 8. Once, one patient told, One of my relatives had a dispute with me. He behaved very rudely with me. And I also scolded him severely in reaction. The doctor asked, have you ever talked with him after that incident? The patient replied, No, never. After that incident, I even didn't like to see his face again. So, here we have to focus on this incident. We have to focus on this incident. After that मुझे उसका सूरत देखना भी गवारा नहीं है। Like some similar version of उस घटना के बाद उसके बारे में सोचने पर भी मुझे गुस्सा आ जाता है। मुझे उसकी सूरत देखने को भी मन नहीं करता। मुझे उससे घिन है या मुझे उस पर घिन आती है। तो ही है। the corresponding rubric is hatred. So next coming to patient's version 9. The patient's friend narrated that she is very friendly. So friendly that the boys take it, it another way. Many boys are mad after her. But she takes it normally. Let's analyze this. Here, the patient's behavior is luring towards boys. 
and that's why the boys are thinking that she has an attraction towards them but really it is not true though she behaves this way her intention is not to make romantic relationships it is normal for a young girl or woman to lure guys by their attractive behavior but when it is more than that it is called coquetish behavior so the corresponding rubric is coquetish too much next fashion's version 10 the patient's mother is telling about her child sir she is very stubborn if she goes for shopping she demands for this and that and if denied sits on the floor firmly and cries loudly so here corresponding rubric is obstinate next fashion's version 11 the patient is telling from my very childhood if my wishes are not fulfilled or in case i became angry regarding any matter i usually refuse food without food i can stay up to sometimes 2 to 3 days when angry so here the corresponding rubric is obstinate so that's all for this video if you have not yet subscribed to our channel students for me pati please subscribe to it now and also click on the bell icon and select all so that you will not miss any of our informative educational and interesting videos on homeopathy and please provide your feedback in the comment section we will love to answer your queries on this topic thank you for watching